Hey guys, hope you all had a wonderful September. It's the end of the month, so it means another video. And I've been calling these kind of videos like monthly favorites, but I'm going to change the title because I think monthly favorites is too much um, part of the beauty world. I think this video has nothing to do with makeup if you came here for that, I'm sorry. These videos are going to be all the books, podcasts, TV shows, movies, um, am I missing anything? YouTube videos that I watched this past month and I want to share with you guys. They're going to be about topics that I think are really interesting and important to talk about. So I'm sharing them with you so that you can watch them. Come back and tell me what you think. What do you think about that? I'm thinking of like required reading or must reads of the month or something like that, but really they're not required or must reads. They're recommended. <laughs> recommended. They're, they're just recommended and I think you'll like them. So I always start off these videos with YouTube videos that I've made the past month and I think the list is getting kind of ridiculous as I make more videos for each month. Well this month was a little bit lower than the previous month but last month was kind of ridiculous. So instead I think I'm going to focus on one video that I made that I really enjoyed making or found really interesting or meaningful. And for this month, I really, really liked both the comic book 5 and 5s, but also the war 5 and 5. And I'm probably going to go with the war one. And I'm going to go with the war one because I think it is really important. War as a topic in general is really interesting from a historical perspective, but also from like a human perspective. Can I say that? I think it is important to remember these sort of events and how they affect people and all of that affects the art that these artists made. And of course, there are so many artists that it was really difficult to narrow it down to just five, but those are the fives that I picked, and of course you're welcome to add more in the comments. A YouTube video that I want to recommend for everyone to watch, I think it's such a well-made video about a topic people say all the time, and I just want to give them the video every time they ask that question, and it is... I could do that. Whenever people go into a museum or an art fair or an art gallery, I've seen people do this where they go, I could have done that. And of course, it's not bad to think that, but it's not a productive question to ask. What I mean by that is like, of course I've thought that many times, like all the time, because I think it is interesting to think about how things are created. I like looking at a sculpture or a painting, deciphering what are the materials, what are the steps to create that effect. Like that kind of uh, deconstructing behind the art is always really helpful. Well, not necessarily always, but a lot of times really important to the piece of artwork. But simply saying I could do that is a question that is kind of dismissive and it doesn't give you any answers really. And if you're looking for answers, think about asking some different questions. And this video makes a lot of great points and some alternative questions that you should be asking instead. The next thing I wanna share is kind of a duo. It's an article and a podcast that kind of go hand in hand. And I recommend for you to check out the podcast and the article you, it could go either order, really. But uh, the podcast I am talking about is The Conversation, hosted by LA artist Michael Shaw with a co-host Deb Cloudin Mann, who is a gallery owner. And the episode I'm talking specifically about is the one where they're talking to Tulsa Kinney, who is the editor and publisher of Artillery Magazine, which is a more local LA art scene magazine. This podcast is really interesting. It's not the conventional interview type of format. It's, like the title suggests, quite a uh, easygoing conversation. They're joking around and they talk about random topics and it's very free-flowing. I like that episode a lot because it's really interesting to listen to Kinney. As an editor, she talks about different publications that are out there and what kind of role they play in the art world. So I think that is really interesting. She's quite, um, she's quite frank with her replies and open about 
things. And I appreciate that as a listener slash reader of their work. The article I'm recommending is one that they mention in the podcast, which was published in Artillery, both the magazine and you can read it online. And it's called Curators Unbound, The Rise of the Independent Nonprofits by Charles Rappoli. And this article is really interesting because nonprofits weren't really a huge thing in LA, but in LA it's relatively new. And the LA ones are really, um, how do I say, splashy? <laughs> and not to say that other ones aren't, I, I just know from personal experience what LA ones do because when I was a student in university, I interned at a couple different galleries and some of them were nonprofits and some of them are very interesting. Despite being a nonprofit, they have a lot of money, they have a lot of different shows, they have um, these really extravagant parties where they bring in a lot of artists and works and performances. And it's very interesting to read this article and figure out, well, how exactly does it work? Like, where do they make the money if they don't sell art? And where does the money go and how does it work? And it's quite fascinating, really. But in the interview, she talks about how these nonprofits got mad at her. She talks about writing the article and how it affected their relationship with the, these nonprofits and stuff like that. The article isn't like bashing these guys at all. I think it's pretty fair in how it talks about how these things work, but you can read the article and judge for yourself and let me know what you guys think. I definitely see both sides. I think it's, it's kind of a balance because these sort of nonprofit institutions do a lot of great things to provide a venue for these artists and um, sort of giving them the exposure without having to worry about having something to sell or selling it in general. But it's also very important to know what is their mission? How do they work? And what sort of drives these guys, you know? So check it out. Let me know what you think. My last favorite is an object, something that I've been using a lot this month. It can be art related or art history related or whatever. I don't know, I'll see how it goes. My favorite this month is my Kindle and something I've been loving to do this month is reading on my Kindle and borrowing ebooks from the library. I've known you could check out ebooks from the library, but I didn't know that it would be a lot of books. For some reason, I thought it would just be like mostly novels, YA, stuff like that. And obviously they do have that, but you can actually check out quite a number of different books. And yeah, it's free, it's easy. All you have to do is go onto the library's website and click send to Kindle or something like that. And it just shows up. I don't even need to attach a cord. Like how easy is that? So I've been loving that. And a little bonus video to go along with that thought is um, Candace's videos from Librarian Fan Mail. She's been doing a couple of videos about libraries. She made a video talking about ebooks and um, what it means for libraries, which I thought was a really cool video. So if you want to check that out, please do. I've just been enjoying using my Kindle and reading on the subway on stuff like that. I am traveling actually tomorrow, so I'm really excited to take it with me, read it on the plane. Uh, I think it's a lot easier than carrying books around, especially bigger books that are kind of heavy, and you can carry multiple books. Sometimes I get bored of the book I'm reading, so I just change to a different book, you know? <laughs> That's it for my favorites. I'll leave links to all the things I mentioned in the comments below so that you can click direct links if that's what you prefer. And be sure to let me know what you guys think of them. Let me know which ones are your favorites. I'd love to hear if you enjoy them or not, or if you hated them. Why did you hate it? Let me know, okay? All right, I'll see you guys next time. Bye!